before entering. It's all really confusing. <laughs> but do you remember a few weeks ago when I spoke to the Beasleys and we talked about how yes. a lot of Americans keep their shoes on in the house? Well, a lot of Americans oh. don't. Some of us take our shoes off. Hello, friends. Sat Shri Akal. Welcome back to our channel, Yankee Royal Reactionary. I'm Manpreet Kaur. She is Neha. And today we are up with another video. In this video, we are going to react on US Culture Shock, My First American House. So today we are going to react on the videos of Lost in the Pond and we have seen many videos of him. We love the way he make videos, the way he make content because he is very true to his content. Let's see what's there in today's video. He is going to share the culture shocks and about his first American house. So let's see what's there in today's video and then we will talk about it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hello. For the 15 years that I've lived in the United States, 14 have been spent in rented apartments plus one year with my in-laws. These apartments have varied in quality and size from 300 square feet to 1,500. Wow. Basically, renting has been a way of life since I was 20, but wow. now that's all yeah, changed. Lawrence. On Christmas Eve, my wife and I did something that child Lawrence wouldn't have believed even if you'd bribed him with football stickers. We wow. closed on our first American house. We're so excited. Um, this isn't the house, by okay, the way. The this Christmas is just stock footage of a much larger house. house because we couldn't show the exterior for security reasons. That said, come and join me now in the foyer of my Chicago area home. Hello and welcome to my first American house. I'm standing right here in the foyer, or as it's pronounced in American English, foyer. And the first thing that you'll probably notice is this staircase. And the reason that you notice it is that it leads your eye to me, the second thing you notice. <laughs> There isn't really a third thing. This is just the foyer. So strap in as I take you on a tour of the rest of my house. Now, it's important to say that we don't have a lot of furniture in here yet, so that accounts for the echoes and also just the lack of seating space. But we do have this makeshift table and yeah, chair set, which is acting as a kind of temporary lost in the pond control center. And we have, get this, a fireplace, an actual fireplace with a chimney and everything. And as you can see, it's got these protective doors on it, which mm. is good peace of mind because my cat would absolutely dare to even think about it. Ooh, and additionally, those doors good. might even put off burglars and also Santa Claus so let's keep them <laughs> behind me is the dining room and as with the living room and indeed the rest of the house there's no furniture in here at the moment but once there is I imagine like most Americans will eat our dinner in this room every single night until we don't do that I give it two weeks before we migrate to the couch wow <laughs> the flooring is superb but yes. it's pretty spacious and I think we'll make a nice yes. venue for when I get around to making that video, my verdict on tamales. And this is the kitchen where I may very well be making those tamales until I realize So they were not applied cook. carpet. In and I order them house. from a shop just down the road. But Maybe it's a pretty bedroom, decent kitchen. It's got yeah. some very American amenities, including Let's this see. fridge freezer, which is my height. And for the record, I'm six foot one. When I did a video in the previous apartment, people were like, ooh, that's not a very big fridge. Not true. I'm just a very big person. Okay. But this one's it's got a sort of digital <laughs> exterior <laughs> facing ice cube thing that throws ice, ice cubes at you. Okay. Not literally, yeah. that would be dangerous. But it's good in the summer and again, very American. Ah, very now I know American. what you're thinking. Ooh, Lawrence, you've got your coat on. You must be outside. And that's not true. I'm currently standing inside a room that's fairly common in Midwestern houses that's on the end of the house, but doesn't have a lot of central heating. And it's a sort of entryway to the house where people enter before entering. It's all really confusing. <laughs> but do you remember a few weeks ago when what I is spoke to the Beasleys and we talked about how yes. a lot of Americans keep their shoes on in the house? Well, a lot of Americans oh. don't. Some of us take our shoes off before we go in the house but also after it's weird and that that's where this room comes in i would refer to this as a vestibule but that's because i'm pretentious and posh my wife she calls it a mud room because she works on a farm and is american i looked up this term looks like it's largely only used in north america so let me know in the comments below what do you call this room because wow, we've only ever cool rented, I'm not particularly accustomed to stairs but from here it would seem the only way is up you know, making a different space for just removing your shoes. Good idea. I think the audio 
is pretty bad in this room. What I could do is in fact go get a blanket that I packed from downstairs to put underneath me and that should just make it a little bit better. So just bear with me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> you can still hear me because I've got my clip on mic on. So wherever I go, you can hear me. You saw him That's a daunting <laughs> thought, isn't yes. it? Don't ever, ever experience that in your daily lives. Only in this video. Okay, I'm at the box where I put the blanket and see, there's no yes, blanket. I've just realized I laid it out for the cat at the other place. So there is no blanket. You're just gonna have to get terrible audio. So I'm coming back up the stairs. Horrendous exercise or great exercise. I mean, I need it. Anyway, this is the smallest room in the house if you don't include the bathroom. And technically it's one of- So I'm taking a pause here. Uh, now he's showing his bedroom as well. There, is, there are no carpets in the bedroom, but I think in UK we have uh, carpets all over the house. Only in the kitchen we don't have carpets. Rest everything in every room we have carpets. And I think because of the cold weather, uh, they advise us to have carpets. But same goes for US as well. So you guys let us know in the comment section that why you don't have carpets in your home. So I, w I want to know from you guys. The three bedrooms. Uh, I wanted this place actually as my own little office where I can just come and edit videos Good. and look out the window at squirrels. But Tara, my wife, had other ideas. She wants this to be a guest know. bedroom because this is America and we love sleepovers. One box down, 468 <laughs> to go. We and love she's not here right ones. now, but this is the little studio that my wife picked out for herself. And I say little, it is quite a bit bigger than the guest bedroom over there, but she's American. She needs all this space. So I've let her have it. I didn't have much choice, to be honest. And oh. looking around, you can see this door behind me. This why is not? Just why any is old door. This always is a door the head of the baby. Then why not? Yes. <laughs> leads out to the balcony. There's also an outer door and it's very cold wow. right now. So we're not going to go out there and I'm only in a t-shirt, but that's what she's got in her studio. That's fair. So we'll close that. I'm not actually bitter and you'll see why in just a moment. This right here is going to be our bedroom bedroom. Obviously there will be an actual bed in here, but in the meantime, we've got these lovely deck chairs. You do need somewhere to sit. Or sleep. I mean, you can, these are very comfortable oh, deck chairs. Okay. They're great. I mean, these things are, they're super American actually, because they have little Very American, super American. These the are fan. the words he's using for what them. What could be better than that? Yeah, he's yeah, a proud cat. In true American style, each oh, of the bedrooms yes. comes equipped with a walk-in closet. Wow. Every girl's dream, I think. The walk-in closet. this, right here, yes. is the bathroom and it's not really anything to write home about. One thing that I can say is that this toilet <laughs> has been doing that watery sound for a while, and not just because I used it. I mean, it is precisely because of that, but it's been just going for about 20 minutes. So I feel like what we need is to call up Captain Von Trapp so he can take a look at it. Christopher Plummer, the, he's played Captain Von Trapp. We need a plumber. And anybody that knows me knows that every now and again, I like to take a nice hot bath. Not in my clothes, nice. usually. But there's a key difference to taking a bath in the United States and taking a bath in Britain. And you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? It is that you have to step down when you get out of the bath in Britain, whereas the, the floor of the bathtub is on the same level as the floor next to the bathtub in America. Ooh. And here's the part where I sit on the stairs like I'm in some sort of 90s music video because I have something serious to say. Buy my t-shirts! I'm kidding. I mean, seriously, buy my t-shirts. But the serious oh. <laughs> thing that I have to say is what a crazy month December was. In December, it felt like I did 10 years worth of life events. Yep, I became a United States citizen and that is tremendous. But on top of that, and can we do a close up because I want to really cement the emotion of the scene. On top of that, we went through the intense process of securing the loan from the mortgage lenders at the same time that I found out my dad only had a few weeks to oh, live. And so as they used to say in wrestling, it took a lot of intestinal fortitude to get through that. And I just want to say right here, right now, I'm bloody glad I didn't do Vlogmas. And also thank you for your condolences. And I think if my dad had seen the thousands of messages oh. that you sent, he would have been both excited and utterly confused. So 
Thank you again for that. All right, remember earlier when I said the only way is up? Well, I completely and utterly lied a little bit. What Midwestern home would be complete without a basement? That's where I am right now. Basement As I did a tour of the kitchen wow. earlier, it occurred to me that my British viewers might have been thinking, where's the washing machine? Where's the tumble dryer? Why are you going high pitched again? Well, like we most American that, homes, that those they have the different space the for the laundry section case, and We have other ours things. down here in the basement. But I don't want to dwell too heavily on that because for one, they're not hooked up. And number two, I'll be talking about American laundry rooms and basements in general laundry in two rooms. upcoming videos. So stay You're tuned. So great. And finally, oh. this yes, behind me, a room that you find in some American houses known as a rec room, as in recreation Very room. well constructed. But because we don't have kids and I yes. missed out on having the spare bedroom as a separate office, I was able to claim this room as my studio for making videos. So come Finally. on in because you're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Not literally, you'll be just watching me in there, but you get the picture. Wow. One time. In many ways, given that I absolutely love what I do, it could be argued that Recreation Room is still an apt name for where I make my videos. And the fact that it sits deep inside Illinoisan soil should make for stronger acoustics, so long as the setup goes off without a hitch. He's so entertaining, so like he's talking this tour with of himself. my first American house over the yes. coming weeks and maybe even months. I'll be delving deep into some of those sort of more individual pieces that are fairly unique to American houses and why, in fact, that is the case. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. And a big thank you to my <laughs> patrons who paid for this house. I'm joking. But you certainly oh, paid nice for this way channel to promote. and made it what it is today, which ultimately did pay for this house. So. so here we have come to the end of the video and wow I just love the way the, the Lawrence make videos because he always have something to make you laugh not only just speaking and telling you that the facts he has something the sense of humor uh, God has gifted to him is wow and I like the way the mindfully every uh, American house is built they are uh, that's true that they are built so mindfully uh, mindfully that they have different laundry rooms the different room for you to come in and uh, take a two minute rest uh, leave your shoes there that's so good wow. i just love the american houses and this video was also very cool seriously the video is so cool like we never imagined that american houses have the mud room this is so new concept for us and I'm, you know, very surprised and I love this idea that, yes, we have uh, to make a different section for removing shoes and taking a one to two minute uh, rest and then entering uh, someone's house. This is actually so cool idea. I really like this and the house too is mind blowing. Like I like everything in his house. The lightning is so perfect. The first, the flooring, everything is 10 out of 10. And I think you cannot call it house you can can call it the villa because uh he has uh, everything in his house every different section for every different things so this is actually very surprising and we just love his house okay guys let's end it here if you like it then please hit the like button if you are new to the channel then go and subscribe now do let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video till then okay, okay bye, bye.